Thanks.
Back there at the shop, what you asked me to do. Let's not discuss it. No, what did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back, that's death, Mr. DeWitt. For something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. Appreciate it.
got a lock here. Come on, give me something challenging. It's done. I now observe, well, then you are to be the Mozart of Columbia. the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock? The dress. The thing is mistaking me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Look at those pennants. Seems like the Vox have chosen their favorite color. Seems about right. graveyard where my mother's buried. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her 
fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without? How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child? You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. Shit! <laughs> Is she alive or dead? Why do you ask? And the delicious question is when? The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. You hold on to this.
you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just I'm so sure it was her. Done. Doctor ordered. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption. Yet, we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But, my brother and I are together. And so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here. She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um... I don't know. ...dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Comstock seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. Lady Comstock seems to believe the child is a result of some errant act of carnality between myself and her beloved prophet. I told the poor woman the truth, that the child was a product of our little contraption, but I think she found that less believable than her delusion.
You need this! Thanks. Elizabeth. Come on, give me something challenging. Ready. But you two are dead. I took your funeral for me. Yes, and made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. To come across so lifelessly. I don't think that's the real. Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry. At her and, and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. Insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days.
this place. 